Hello everybody, it's Matt from TDM Style here, and welcome back. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to create this Zac Efron hairstyle from the new Baywatch movie. So Zac Efron is one of those guys that seems to always kind of create hair trends, and I think his uh, wavy, beachy looking style from the new Baywatch movie will be no exception. Especially with us coming into the summer months here, I think that this hairstyle is going to be very popular, and it's also really easy to do, which is great for those really hot days. This hairstyle is essentially just a low volume, wavy, slick back, and he's got a little bit of shine, a little bit of volume in the front, and just a lot of that gritty, beachy texture, with a few strands hanging down the sides here or there for that sort of messy surfer look. If you'd like to see a tutorial on how to get these highlights and hair cut, the Salon Guy actually just posted a video on this, so I will link that above and in the description box below. Now, I know you guys like to know the hair measurements for these, so right now I have a mostly disconnected undercut, which is a one and a half to two low fade on the sides, and the top at its longest point is just about down to the tip of my nose, which I think might be a little bit longer than Zac Efron's, but it'll still work fine for this style. And then as we get towards the back of my head, it's tapered to be shorter, so in the back it's probably closer to um, maybe three and a half inches or so. So with all that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hair, and we'll get started with the tutorial. All right, so firstly, I'm gonna go in with a few spritzes of a sea salt spray, and today I'm using Tidal Wave by the Salon Guy. For those of you with naturally wavy hair like me, a sea salt spray will help to accentuate those waves while also providing a bit of control and that gritty, beachy texture that we're looking for. If you have straight hair, the sea salt spray will actually also help to create some waves for you. Next, I'm going in with the blow dryer, and my main goal with blow drying this is to just get all of my hair going pretty much straight back while uh, creating a little bit more of that disconnected look on the sides. I'm mostly using my fingers to comb my hair backwards just to maintain that natural waviness, but I will use the vent brush on occasion just to provide myself a little bit more control and to straighten out any um, extra crazy sections. To create that little bit of volume that he has in the front, I'm basically just going to be placing my hand around the middle towards the back of my head and pushing it slightly forward like so. This will pop the front of your hair up to create that little bit of volume, and it will also help to create waves if you have straight hair. If you have really straight hair and you're looking to create even more waviness, you can do so by grabbing small sections of hair and twisting them around your finger like so, and then just hit that with the blow dryer for a few seconds before letting go. From here, it's just a rinse and repeat of blow drying my hair straight back and uh, working the sides up a little bit to create that extra disconnect until my hair becomes totally dry. To finish up, I'm going in with Shadow by the Salon Guy, which is his new Grit Pomade. Now, this is an interesting product, and it's really, I think, perfect for this style, in that it creates a uh, medium shine, so it's not going to be too shiny. It's a medium hold, so it'll give you that sort of natural look. And it's also going to create a lot of this sort of gritty, beachy texture, which is exactly what we're going for. Once I'm happy with the overall shape of my hair, I'm going to finish up this style by just grabbing a few strands here or there on the sides to have that sort of uh, messy, falling down look that he's got going on. And that is about it, guys. A very simple hairstyle to put together, which is nice for me. It's a, sort of a nice change of pace from my typical everyday hairstyle, which requires quite a bit more work. And also, I think it's just the perfect, easy, beachy hairstyle for this summer. So that about wraps things up for this hair tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please do leave me a thumbs up down below. That will really help me out. Please be sure to stick around. We've got lots more content coming up real soon. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you all at the next one.